हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द ट्वेल्थ पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेसेस एंड प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेन वेर वी आर सॉल्विंग एग्जांपल्स एंड टिल नाउ वी हैव सॉल्व्ड फाइव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एग्जांपल्स एंड लास्ट टाइम वी जस्ट सॉ हाउ टू सॉल्व हाउ टू फाइंड नॉर्मल टेंजेंशियल एंड रिजल्ट एंड स्ट्रेसेज बाई यूजिंग मोर सर्कल्स मैथड एंड इन दिस लेक्चर विल फाइंड आउट द सेम विल यूज द सेम मोर सर्कल्स मैथड बट for different case that is uh, will this time also have a value of tau that is for uh, shear stress let me read the question in a strained material a direct stress of intensity 900 newton per mm square tensile and 500 newton per mm square compressive are acting across two planes mutually perpendicular to each other along with the shear this time we are also having a shear the Two stresses major is ninety. I mean, uh, sigma one is nine hundred newton per mm square. Sigma it it is tensile and sigma two is five hundred newton per mm square. It is compressive. The nature is different. So see, this time we'll take the value negative of sigma two while calculation. We are also having a value of shear that is this tau. Find the value of shear stress if the major principal stress is not to exceed. Twelve hundred and fifty newton per mm square tensile. We need to find the value of this tau shear, shear stress. If the major principal stress that is sigma n one, see this major principal stress that is sigma n one is not to exceed one to five zero newton per mm square in tensile direction. Nature. Also find ma minor principal stresses. Use Mohr circles method. So we already know what are the steps to calculate uh, for the Mohr circles method. But this time, it the there are few steps which are different. That is uh, because we are having the value of shear stress. We'll try and understand stepwise. At first, the value of this sigma one is nine hundred. Taking a scale at first, this point O two x. We will draw a point O two x. A line, horizontal line. Basically, we can say we'll draw that. Then, value of Now in the next step we'll be taking a particular scale. So based on the values twelve hundred and fifty, nine hundred, five hundred, we can decide a suitable scale for our page. What we have taken here is one centimeter is equal to hundred newton per mm square. So based on uh, our question, sigma one is nine hundred newton per mm square. So we'll have to draw a line of nine centimeter from O. To A, see the as I said, there are few steps what uh, are different because of the shear stress. So mark my words, the steps are different. O to A, we have taken nine centimeter, and uh, this sigma two is five hundred newton per mm square, but it is compressive. The nature is different, so value will be minus five hundred. So we'll draw O to B. This direction, not on the same direction, because the nature is different, and because it is five hundred, according to our scale, we'll draw a five centimeter line from O to B. So we got O A and O B, and uh, as per our regular steps, we have to bisect from A to B at C. We'll find the center of this line A B at a C. This point C. This is our sigma one. This is our sigma two. Now the uh, variation starts. We don't have to draw a circle from point uh, radius C A or C B. This time, when we are giving the value of, uh, we need to find the value of shear stress. What we need to do is, uh, we are given with if the major principal stress is not to exceed one to five zero newton per mm square. So major principal stress that is sigma n one. Value of sigma n one is given. That is. We have to draw one to five zero. That is twelve hundred and fifty. Take a square law of one hundred one centimeter is equal hundred newton per mm square. So twelve fifty will be twelve point five centimeter from point O. From O, we'll draw a line of one to five zero. I mean twelve point five centimeter from O to G. Measure this as twelve point five centimeter. You can take a scale to measure this like this. O to G. This is twelve point five centimeter. Okay. Now taking this center as C and radius as C G, we have to draw a circle like this. Let me show you by using this rounder. 
this as a radius will draw a entire circle this is the thing this time we are not drawing it with center oa or radius ca we are drawing it with radius cg this is with sigma n1 major principal stress 12.5 centimeter because it is 1250 newton per mm square then after our next step will be to draw a vertical line from a to a dash downwards this would be 90 degree and intersect our circle at a dash a drawing a line from point a uh, at a 90 degree and intersecting circle at a dash similarly because uh, the value of uh, this sigma 2 is in opposite direction we will draw b to b dash again at 90 degree intersecting the circle at point b dash then we have to draw a line which joins a dash and b dash this is the last step this straight line a dash and b dash the angle what we got here is 2 into alpha 1 in this way we can get the location of shear i mean uh, shear plane yes sorry we will get the uh, location of principal plane as alpha 1 based on alpha 1 we can even get alpha 2 we already know but right now we are not concerned with that what we are concerned only with is tau value of tau that is shear stress so this value of shear stress is the this a to a dash we can measure this as uh, it is 7.8 centimeter see here so i have written it here 7.8 into our scale that is 100 so 780 newton per mm square this is shear stress we already have found the first thing as mentioned here find the value of shear stress if major principal stress is given uh, also find minor principal stress that is sigma and 2 we also need to find so as we measured this o g as major principal stress sigma n1 we can also find this o h as minor principal stress sigma n2 so uh, this is sigma n1 uh, 1250 as given in the question but this will have to measure oh let us measure this it is 8.4 centimeter as mentioned here sigma n2 is 8.4 centimeter into our scale 100 that is 840 newton per mm square so we got the required values that is stress and sigma n2 and uh, if we are asked to calculate maximum uh, tensile stress then we need to draw a line from c intersecting the circle that is sigma t max then we need to measure this again repeating the entire numerical what we did the first point was o to a sigma 1 then we draw o to b sigma 2 because it is in opposite direction so like this taking our suitable scale then what we did was uh, we took this value sigma n1 that is major principal stress as it was given in the question o2g 12.5 uh, centimeter taking the scale 1250 newton per mm square the value is then taking cg as a radius and drawing a entire circle the next step is from a drawing a line at 90 degree and intersecting the circle at point a dash similarly from b taking a line at 90 degree above and intersecting the circle at b dash joining a dash and b dash we can get value to alpha 1 if we are asked to calculate uh, the location of uh, principal plane but what we are asked to is to calculate this a a dash that is shear stress we got this a a dash 7.8 of 780 newton per mm square and uh, another thing what we are asked to calculate is minor principal stress that is sigma n2 o to h measuring that 8.4 centimeter we get 840 newton per mm square but if we are asked to calculate uh, maximum tangential stress then we can calculate this c to this above point c dash measuring that and we can calculate right now we are not required we what we are concerned is only with this shear stress and minor principal stress so friends this was all about the second case of uh, more circles method this was the 12th part this is all for today and uh, thank you for watching